Hello and happy Wednesday. Thank you all for tuning in to today's NIDA Connections video. My name is Chelsea Cronengold and I am NIDA's Communications Manager. Today I am joined by NIDA's own Jessica Hickman. Jessica is NIDA's National Walks Director, where she oversees more than 95 city walk campaigns and supports the dedicated walk coordinators who make it all possible. Jessica's passion for her work stems from her personal experience with eating disorders and body image issues. Through Nita Walks, she is committed to building communities of hope, strength, and healing. When she is not traveling to a Nita Walk, you can find Jessica cooking, crafting, or watching cute kitten videos on Instagram. So, hey, Jessica. Um, I know that you and the rest of the Walks team have been working really hard to revamp the Nita Walks program for the spring in light of the COVID-19 outbreak. Um, so before we get into our plans for the upcoming virtual walks that you all have been working on, um, would you mind kicking things off by giving us a quick overview of what Nita Walks are and why they're important and beneficial to the eating disorders community? Thanks, Chelsea. Hey. Um, so yeah, so Nita Walks, uh, if you've never been to one, they are community building events that are dual purpose in raising awareness for eating disorders as a public health issue and also raising funds to support NIDA's programs and services. Um, that's how we are able to support uh, those affected by eating disorders through our prevention, support, and education programs, as well as advocacy and research initiatives. Um, they're also an opportunity to find hope and celebrate strength and recovery and to actively support those who are struggling. And it's also an opportunity for us to honor the lives we've lost to these illnesses. Oh, definitely important. I'd say they're important to our community for a lot of reasons. Um, they're, for one, they're a symbol of unity. Um, it was, uh, you know, it's creating a sense of community, showing that no one is alone in the fight against eating disorders. Uh, we're able to connect people to resources. And they're really just a reminder that there's hope that help is available and recovery is possible. Definitely. Yeah, eating disorders are such isolating, you know, issues on their own and let alone with, you know, the isolation issues that people are having now with the coronavirus. So we want to make sure that there's community across the board and you're doing a great job all year long to bring people together in their local community. So great job. Thanks. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so um, what, what's Should I going jump on? into virtual walks? Yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, so as a lot of people have probably seen, um, in-person gatherings are being largely canceled across the country. Initially, it was like a huge bummer after spending months and months planning our spring need to walk season. Um, but, you know, we're looking this at this as an opportunity um, to, I mean, like literally meet people where they are um, in their home. So um, we don't want to, we can't put a pause on the fight against eating disorders, right? Just because in-person events are canceled doesn't mean our work or our purpose or our mission is, is canceled. So we are going virtual. So this means um, we'll be logging on starting this weekend in San Diego and then also uh, we have a virtual walk for New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Ohio happening on Sunday. So we'll be logging on um, for a morning filled with inspirational speakers. You'll be seeing some of your favorite NIDA ambassadors and social media influencers. Um, and we'll be talking about hope. We'll be talking about recovery and self-care during these um, uneasy times. And uh, we'll also have giveaways. There will be dancing and an opportunity to uh, we'll have a live Q&A so you can actually interact with our speakers, uh, which is something that actually, you know, we're not really able to do at um, our, our traditional need to walk. So I think it's kind of an exciting, um, exciting opportunity. Yeah. And how does the virtual walk itself take place? Is there any recommendations for, you know, you know taking us like a quick stroll outside or is it more of just that opening ceremony piece of the walks? It's going to be largely focused on the on the program um so each walk program will look a little bit different uh different depending on you know what city what speakers we have what we're including so you know we get to keep it fresh and interesting um so you know to find out what's going on with your local virtual walk what you'll do is you'll still register like you normally would at needawalk.org 
you'll sign up and then before the walk you'll get a link to um, where you can go to webinar so you'll get a link to register for um, the go to webinar you'll log on you'll be greeted by the Nita team uh, this Sunday you'll see me you'll see our CEO Claire Misco as well as um, our Nita ambassador Ryan Sheldon uh, clinical mental health counselor Tiffany Rowe will be there as well as um, Ina from Enjoy the Journey. So you'll get to hear from all of them. Uh, we're going to be, I kind of wanted to keep this a secret, but um, we'll be seeing a lot of Tiffany Rowe in uh, the coming virtual walks and she's going to be hosting a self-love dance party. So kind of thinking of that as kind of in, in place of the walk because, you know, we are you know, encouraging everyone to, to stay safe, stay healthy, shelter in place. So um, we'll be we'll be dancing. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Um, I'm checking now to see. So we have some folks that are watching live. Um, there's no questions that have come up yet, um, but I know that everyone's favorite question is about the walk t-shirts. So what's the plan, Jessica? Yes, we have heard you loud and clear. We know you want your t-shirt um, and I don't blame you. They're really nice. Um, so we're working really hard to make this possible. Um, so you might I have guessed by now that the Nita team is, is working remote, so we can't physically be in the office mailing out thousands of t-shirts. Um, so we are working to get the Nita shirts online and available to people who um, are, are reaching a small fundraising minimum for the walk. So stay tuned. We'll release more details on that when we're uh, ready to uh, start shipping them out. But they are in production. We are figuring out creative solutions for just about everything. Awesome. Um, yeah, so what about, you mentioned um, that the shirts will be available with a fundraising minimum. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about some of our other fundraising prizes and kind of incentives to get out there and what the money goes to as well? I yeah, think. yeah. So um, a lot of people are, you know, have reached out and been like, well, what happens now that the walk isn't taking place in, um, in person? And well, like a lot of things actually aren't aren't changing. So everyone loves getting their Nita swag. <laughs> so we uh, that is still fully running, fully active. Um, so when you fundraise for Nita walks, um, you actually can earn like really cool Nita gear. Like actually, this mug that I'm drinking. Oh, I have the cute side <laughs> mug that I'm drinking out of. When you fund, you can like get this. Um, we have Nita hoodies. Uh, you can become a member of our Warriors Club. Um, there's a lot of fun fun swag and um it's it's cool because you know you can earn some some cool things some unique things um as just like a small thank you for doing big things because you know the swag is nice but what you're doing is is bigger than that you're helping fund um things like our helpline our online screening tool our different support programs advocacy initiatives and research yeah, yeah, all really great stuff. And I feel like it's also important to note that each season or each year, the walk incentives change. And so they're limited yeah. edition. So each year there is another, you know, benefit or incentive. Yeah, this might not be available that much longer. It's my favorite mug too. I have it at home. <laughs> <laughs> so anything else that you want to add about the walks program, virtual walks? Um, so I know you mentioned that there are specific cities that are happening this weekend. So for the walks that are, you know, take, supposed to be taking place in person that aren't to a specific city is San Diego, Montclair, um, Cleveland? We have Columbus, Ohio State College. So you know what's really fun? So San Diego is is taking place. Sadly, San Diego is the first walk to um, have to have to change this year. So um, that's taking place uh, at 11 a.m. Pacific time on Sunday. And then we're bringing our New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Ohio friends all together on Sunday. Um, and we'll, we'll have a special program there. Um, you'll see Ryan Sheldon, Tiffany Rowe, and our friend Gina. Uh, for, uh, more commonly known as Nourish and Eat, they'll all be there. Um, and the cool thing about the virtual walk is if, you know, you have never been able to come to a, a need a walk before, um, maybe we haven't had one in your state yet, uh, you can really sign up for any of them. You can participate fully in any of them. So um, if you don't see your state or your city on our list 
uh, feel free to sign up for one at a, at a time that works for you. So they'll all be taking place at 11 a.m. Um, in their respective time zones. So you can, you know, stay in the loop by visiting needawalk.org and following us on social media. We'll be announcing updates as, as they happen. Um, and I think, like, as my, I love everything about Need to Walk, but probably my the only thing I don't love is is waking up early. So what's really <laughs> nice is, yeah, the 11 a.m. start time. I'd say that could be really nice for a lot of people. You have time to uh, get settled. You can oh, and you can wear your PJs to the walk too. I don't think actually the in-person event has stopped anyone from wearing their PJs to a Need to Walk. We've definitely seen like a fair share of onesies, but um, well, you know our motto is come and see more. Oh, and I will add, we still want to see your Need to Walk photo. So please um, share your virtual Need to Walk selfies using hashtag Need to Walk. We'll be sharing them um, and it will enter you uh, for a chance to win some some cool things like a, like a Need to Store gift card. Awesome. Yeah, and also we should mention that we're doing this video today on Wednesday because we do Need to Walk Wednesdays. So do you want to explain a little bit more about our Need to Walk Wednesday Instagram campaign before we wrap up? Oh, yeah. Up? Yeah, so Need to Walk Wednesday, um, we started just to kind of create a spotlight for um, some of our most passionate walkers, walk coordinators, volunteers, et cetera. So um, we feature, we, we kind of do it every other Wednesday right now, but we could even increase that if we get more virtual walk selfies. Um, so you can share, uh, you know, it's a chance for people to share why they need to walk um, and, you know, what the Need to Walk means to them. And we feature one on our account on Wednesdays. So I think it'd be really fun if we do like a virtual walk Wednesday. Yeah. Maybe like a pajama. Yeah. I'm not volunteering, but um, yeah, like a pajama need a walk Wednesday. I'm in favor. We'll add a poll after this. And see what <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so participate in Need a Walk Wednesday. Um, tag Nita on Instagram, which is at Nita, and use the hashtag Need a Walk Wednesday. Yeah, well, I think it doesn't look like any comments came through, so I feel like this was a short and sweet summary of Nita Walks and our plans for upcoming virtual walks, and thank you so much for joining me today. Um, and I yeah, just thanks so much, Chelsea. Yeah, thank you. And I just want to end um, by letting you all know that tomorrow we'll be talking about eating disorders in midlife and beyond and addressing some of the challenges that this population faces, particularly in this current climate. So thank you all again for tuning in and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.